Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle Hi, how you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible um, If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so it really helps my channel out and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload and um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts March 2024 Part 5 so if you want to know more about um, 5 Exciting Facts UK Travel Facts please keep watching so I'm going to kick off with number 1 which is Easter travel warning as millions set to hit the road um, the RAC warns um, of a cam a, a cam a cam megadon excuse my pronunciation um, as heavy traffic is expected uh, join the Easter getaway that's according to BBC News so but again Easter is um, a, a very busy time for traveling in in general whether you're going to work whether you're going on a vacation day trip um, shopping uh, whatever it is a very busy time on the, the roads and uh, number two, The Guardian, Easter travel delays um, forecast for the UK. Um, and uh, weather and rail disruption and line closures and uh, strikes um, are uh, conceding uh, with uh, school holidays and turbulent weather are expected to hit travel plans so again a mixture between uh, poor weather rail uh, line disruption closures and strikes um, with school holidays and turbulent weather is expected to hit travel plans uh, whether you're traveling abroad and um, away from the UK into the UK or um, around the UK around Easter time it's very busy so again I would check with um, your airline or um, coach um, or rail whether there's any delays or um cancellations uh, because it is expected at this time of year um because it's just very busy no, no matter what way you're traveling number three daily express uk most beautiful road uh, trips route features a uh, traditional at pretty villages and um, want to explore the UK by road at this year a new study from Vanarama has found the UK's best at staycation road trips so if you're wanting to drive um, to, uh, to uh, pl uh, places and do driving routes then these are 10 of the best driving routes that you can do uh, kicking off with no, at number 10 is Land's End to John O'Groats or just Land's End in general but if you're looking for uh, say um, a harder more challenging road trip 
and, and also much longer then you can go uh, from Land's End to John O'Groats or John O'Groats to Land's End um, and make that trek and number nine the new forest um, you can make stops um, at the new forest uh, wild at life park and um, also the Sola uh, so Solent National oh sorry Solent National Nature Reserve so those are two good places to shop um, if you're traveling around by road um, by well uh, the new forest uh, which is in Hampshire mainly um, and number eight is Glencoe a village in western Scotland sits in the Glencoe Valley and um, in the Scottish Highlands uh, the area is known for waterfalls and wild life check out Loch Laven for spectacular vi views that's um, another route and at number seven glasgow to fort william and um, that's another um fantastic route and at uh, number six dartmoor Na uh, national park in devon is uh, just it's not just about coastline the dartmoor Moor national park a uh, look out for nickel nickel scenic tombs uh, stone circles and wild ponies so um again that's a very uh, pretty area of um devon if you want to travel or do um a road trip round um, number five black mountain pass which is uh, in south wales um, in the gorgeous Brecon, Brecons National Park bear in mind it's one of the most challenging road trip routes so if you're not not um, that confident driver again maybe skip this one and go for one of the the other routes like um the, uh, like the new forest route um number four the peak district uh, which is in derbyshire winding country lane southern peaks and um toss make it makes for an exhilarating driving experience the snakes pass is one of the area's most challenging drives if you go to the snake pass in uh, the peak district but obviously if you're not that confident a driver then stay away from the snakes pass obviously but it's still a, a, the peak district is a really beautiful area and i'd really recommend uh, traveling and uh, seeing it and it's not all that far away from Sheffield, um, say Derby, Nottingham, Manchester, um, that area. And uh, number three, North Coast 500 it is one of Scotland's best activities over 500 miles winding through the scottish highlands take it takes literally five days wow to complete the whole drive but bear in mind it can get very busy during the summer as with all these uh, routes can get busy to very busy number two snowdonia snowdonia north wales and this is another be a gorgeous beautiful area to visit um again that i would recommend um wales has um some incredible uh, driving routes 
and uh, take a trip on or around the highest mountain in Wales which is Mount Snowdon and it looks absolutely gorgeous I definitely re recommend it um, or stop um, to tour one of the region's prettiest vi vi villages Bag Alert I've never been to that village but I have been to um, other places like um, Betsy Cohen around there and I'd really recommend uh, visiting there um, and uh, last but not least um, and this is another um, gorgeous place in the UK to visit and I definitely recommend it again um, is the Lake District was Britain's fav favourite place for a road trip according to Bangaromas Van research England's largest national park as well it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful has plenty of routes to explore the Con Neeston loop uh, considered the the most challenging and take um, and it will take you through uh, picturesque villages and draw drop in uh, valleys and and at Craigie Mountain um, the Lake District um, can be uh, busy again in the uh, summertime but it can just get, get busy because it's just such a popular place to visit and um, I would de uh, definitely recommend it uh, going to see play, uh, towns like Ambleside, uh, Keswick, Kendleton, Grasmere, um, Windermere, uh, Baroness Windermere I definitely recommend it, they're, uh, they're absolutely gorgeous um, and uh, number four, uh, GB News, Ryanair warns of delays and disruptions um, for holiday makers travelling to and from the UK. Again, if you're travelling with any um, to or from the UK from any airport, I would check that it hasn't been delayed or cancelled. And um, number five, last but not least, Evening Standard um, Travel News Live, Storm Nelson, weather warning for Gatwick Express, Southern and Thameslink service, um, delays and cancellations are due to strong winds. So again, if you've booked uh, to go on a train a coach at uh, bot um bus etc or flight then i would definitely check or boat then i would definitely check that it is running and it's not got a uh, cancellation uh, because of the strong winds because of the storm so i would like to say thank you for watching have a good day and night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you tomorrow for a budget travel special 10 exciting facts please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye